Hey, this is Mirgloff in for another episode of Hardcore Mode Challenge Flat World Edition. And that's basically Hardcore Mode, in which you die, that's the end, the map is deleted, but on the Flat World, so it's a lot more difficult because you really have to scavenge hard for supplies. And you're also constantly mobbed by slimes, so you can't really just walk around. Even if it's day, you're still in danger of being killed. So it's kind of like twice as hard than regular hardcore mode, I suppose. And basically, uh, my goal in order to win this challenge that I've set up for myself, I need to collect 20 gold blocks. I've already gotten one gold ingot, so that's... I don't know, uh... Or no, that's... Uh, I need 79... What happened? I need 79 more ingots in order to win this challenge. And once I get those ingots, I have to... Or once I get those blocks, I have to build a golden Mendel sponge. And, which is basically a cube with holes in it. It's a fractal, if you're not familiar with it. But I'm just taking all this wood. I'll have a good supply of wood. From here on, I don't know how long it'll last me. But I think it's long enough. It'll last long enough. So, the priority is just to check these houses for chests now. I saw another NPC village earlier over there, so I'll go there next. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay. So we've gotten to there. I'll go ahead and collect these logs too because they're going to be pretty valuable. I can get a whole bunch of wood from them. Oops. And I don't have any more axe. Shucks. Is there anything in here? Is this the... Yeah, that's the smith place. So that's my main place. Have they infiltrated my main base place for this town? They may have. Yeah, I think they have. Okay, we're gonna jump down in there and fight them, I guess. Die. Okay, these little guys can't hurt me. But how'd he get in here? I think they can spawn in these houses, so that's crap. I don't know if it's because they spawned in there or if they just went in there on their own. I don't know. Oh, I think I left, I'm pretty sure I left that door open. Okay. Well, I need to make some more axes anyways. Okay. I should make some boots. Some leather boots, because I can. It'll help me out a little bit. And I need to build a step way up this way. Because I can already tell by the sound of it that I've been surrounded by slimes. Before I leave, I'll collect that wheat so I can get a bunch of bread. So that's that other place. So I can tell where I've already been by these dirt bridges, so that's useful. It's better than just running around trying to avoid the slimes. 
and not quite so successfully, I might add. No, I can't help but gather this stuff. It's it's necessary. Well, I got plenty for now. I'll worry about just making sure that there's no. I'm tempted to make a run for it. I've already been in there. I can tell because the door's opened. So let's go this way. Oh shit! Ah, that could have gone bad. All right, I didn't I didn't put a dirt little tiny one block dirt bridge there because I thought I could make that jump, but obviously I cannot. Okay. Let's take a peek in here. And by the looks of it, there's no chest. So we'll take a look at the next one here. Ah, uh, you guys can't get me. Stupid slimes. Man, even if volume turned down to 1%, 1%, they are still borderline agitating, just the sound of them slapping. Ugh, sounds like a sloppy circle jerk is what it sounds like. And, uh, okay. I think that's all the houses. I wanted to go in there to collect the wood, but I'm pretty good on wood. So there's no more chests. The only thing left to do is uh, collect the wheat. Kill these guys. Make a run for it. Make a run for it. Ah, they're chasing me. Get as much wheat as I can, so otherwise I'll starve to death. And it, and if you if you've watched my uh, other hard my original hardcore mode series, you'll know that that's that is a very likely way that I'll die if I'm not actively seeking food. I have starved to death in a hardcore mode challenge before and it was embarrassing. I'm not going to let it happen again. Because I am too pro to die like that. Is... Oh, come on, spiders! Come on, spiders! Give me your string. Oh, no, no, I'm being circled. I'm in, being encircled. Jesus. This is a clusterfuck. Oops, sorry about that. I didn't even get the string. Aw, oh, you gotta be... <sighs> Quickly, inventory. Uh, don't grab those seeds. Don't grab those seeds. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No! Anything, anything. Just get out of my inventory. Skeletons. Oh, no, 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 no. About to die, about to die. Screw it, run for it, run for it. Oh my god, that's intense. Whew. Grab some more wheat. Probably gonna need it. Get away from me! That's it, we're running, we're running to the next NBC village. Screw it. Screw it, we'll f get to the next village, find a safe spot, and we'll end this video. Is that, does that have two churches? That's cool. I've seen like videos of really massive NPC villages that have been like spawned at random, and I want to—I would kind of want to get one of those, even though it'd be a nightmare to try and just search through all of them. So we're just gonna head for the churches because those are the safest places in these NPC villages.
because you can just climb to the top. The slimes can't get at you. Spiders can't really get at you that easily. So they, these places really are like a safe haven. I saw a creeper there. I saw you creeper. All right. Whew. Was not expecting to. Did I? I left that chest behind, but I don't think I put anything in it. I was thinking about back then, like putting my gold ingot in there, but that would have been a mistake. Talking about the tale of two cities here. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.